Welcome to this series of video shorts brought to you by RacingBetData.com. If you're just getting into horse racing betting, it can feel overwhelming. So many horses, stats, races to choose from. That's where Racing Bet Data helps. We provide simple, ready to use data in Excel that can show you everything you need to know about each race, how fast the horses are with their pace ratings, where they're drawn in the stalls, how jockeys and trainers are performing, and much more. You don't need to be a pro or know how to code. Our files and data is clear and easy to use. We even have YouTube videos for the more in-depth and advanced analysis. No tips, no hype, just honest, reliable data that helps you make better betting decisions, whether you're betting for fun or want to take it a bit more seriously. Racing bet data is the perfect place to start. And this series of short videos are targeted specifically at you, the newbie or novice that want to know how to use the site. In this video, episode one, we're going to dive straight into the engine room of the website, and that is the data dashboard. Now, the data dashboard is a nice filter type combination that will allow you to export data to screen or to Excel, pulling directly from our database that sits in behind. Our database has nearly 1.5 million rows of data at time of speaking. That represents all UK and Irish races dating back to 2002. Using these tick box criteria, you can filter, unfilter, and hone in to generate the output you want to see. If you're using repeat selection criteria, you can also use our manage selections um, option, which is also under here, save selection management, that will allow you to pre-program your set of criteria, name those, and recall those easily. We'll come on to that in a separate video. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna use a jockey trainer combination based on a race that's happening today and analyze the performance. So the jockey's name is Tom Marquand. So I can just type that in and it will take me to that jockey. You can also use the scroll bar on the side and the same for the trainer. Now the trainer is Michael Appleby. Type that in and select that criteria. You can see here there's many different filter selections and criteria that you can use to hone in and generate your output. But for the purpose of this demonstration video, I'm going to leave the trainer and jockey um, as typed and the rest as default. And I'm going to send that to screen by clicking the submit button down the bottom. Now you can see here in real time how quickly it takes to generate this output. It's counting the number of records and we've got 219 records. These records can be um, sorted by hovering or clicking the mouse over these uh, headers. You can see here the ones that are grayed out are not sortable, but the rest are. So if we select by date, it's automatically defaulted by track alphabetically first. So if we select date and then date again, it's going to set, um, sort in descending order. And as you can see here, there's one race that hasn't yet taken place because that is the race that's happening today at five o'clock. Horse name, honor your dreams. Now you can see here where I've highlighted the horse, you can click on the horse and it will bring up a history of that horse. You can see here, the full history of that horse and then a summary of how that horse is performed. That's not what we're looking for here. What we were looking for, the, the combination of the training and jockey. So let's go to the bottom of the selection output and you'll see a summary table. Now you can see here, we've got in information about the um, industry in Petfrex SP. Again, clicking on these will give you a little pop up um, and also the place SP as well. It's all pretty self explanatory, but you can keep, see here the profit loss. If you had backed the 219 occurrences or 218, because there's one race yet to run that have been generated in the output, you can see the number of winners and the number of places, both SP and Betfair. You can see the profit. Now, this is generated based on a 10 unit stake. Uh, and the Betfair SP will also factor in commission. And then the result yield or return on investment, 43.84%. That's pretty, pretty good, better than most banks will give you. 66.1% using Betfair. Obviously, the exchange renowned for having better odds. Again, with each way, profit 
0.95 you were backing those horses each way with the bookmaker and actually a small loss if you're backing all place uh, horse combinations there's also p-value so this is for the statistical relevance of a system uh, if you want to know a bit more about p-value, I suggest you go away and have a little look around the internet and understand t-test p-values. But that will give you a score based on the probability of this outcome being uh, by luck or by skill. You can then further analyse the horse combinations where we've had the trainer and jockey that we've used today when they've been a favourite using industry or Betfair odds or place odds. You can see here how those horses have performed. Now looking at the Betfair odds, whether it's favourite second favorite, third favorite, or outside the top three, you can see here profit across the board. A small loss is generated when you're looking at the industry SP where you've had second or third favorites. But other, so fourth and, and, and over, and also the favorites have returned a nice profit. If I scroll back to the top, you can also click on export to Excel and you'll get an Excel pop up. That you'll be able to open and do further analysis on. This gives you the output for all of these horse uh, runner rider combinations where the trainer has been Michael Appleby, the jockey has been Tom Longquand. That's a real simple quick overview of what the dashboard can do. It's obviously way more powerful than that, but it gives you an indication of how you can use these filters, these drop downs and these type combinations to generate some output that potentially will lead you to a profitable system. You'll see more of these videos to come. Please remember to like and subscribe our chat to our channel and hit the bell icon for an instant notification the next time a video is released.